joint immobilization of the elbow. So we're going to do BSI scene safety. We have a stable patient complaining of pain, swelling, and deformity to their left elbow. My partner is going to come on scene and stabilize above and below the injury, and the area has already been exposed. We're going to check pulse motor sensory. So we check the radial pulse. Feel your fingers for me. And which finger am I touching? Thank you. Okay, so pulse motor sensory is intact. We're going to go ahead and drape two cravats over the padded board splint. We're going to put those on the inside of the patient's arm, making an A on the elbow. We're going to start with the top cravat. We're going to twist it underneath. We're going to twist, twist it, and then it's going to come up, and we're going to tie it, surgeon's knot, on top of the board. We're going to do the same thing on the bottom. So we're going to twist it, come up, and then tie a surgeon's knot on top of the board again. Nice and snug to prevent movement. We're now going to create a wrist sling or a cuff sling for the patient. So we're going to place this patient's hand through the hole in the sling. And we're going to split it apart, bring it close up onto the body. And we're going to tie it using the padding that we had with the four by four at the back of the neck and a little bit off to the side. We're then going to tie a swath across the patient to bind the arm to the body. So we're going to tie We're going to tie onto the uninjured side, making sure to catch everything but not putting added pressure onto the injured elbow. We're going to tie it to the side of the patient's chest wall. Now that everything is tied, we're going to reassess pulse motor sensory. Just checking the radial pulse. Move your fingers for me. And which finger am I touching? Pointer. 